Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. In this video, we go to see that how to write IEPAC naming for PTNH3 4 times PTCL4, a coordination compound. To write that IEPAC name, certain rules are there. As per the rules, the cation is named first. The ligands are named in an alphabetical order. Names of the anionic ligands ends in O. Oxidation state of the metal in cation, anion or neutral entity is indicated by Roman numeral in parentheses. If the complex ion is a cation, the metal is named same as the element. If the complex ion is an anion, the name of the metal ends with the suffix ATE. Using this information, let us find out that IEPAC name for our compound PTNH3 4 times PTCL4. So here, we name the cation first. So here, how do we find out that which one is the cationic complex and which one is the anionic complex? We cannot get it as nature. So, in this scenario, we go to use that coordination number. Platinum coordination number is 4 here. And in this another coordination entity, coordination number is 4. So, it means that oxidation state of platinum in both the complex must be same. So, using this information, let us find that oxidation number of platinum. So, let us keep that platinum oxidation number X. So, X plus 4 into 0 because NH3 is the neutral ligand, does not carry any charge. Then again platinum, let us keep it like X. Then Cl4, there are 4 chloride group is present. So, 4 into minus 1, it carries minus 1 charge is equal to, it is a neutral compound, so is equal to 0. So, X plus X to X. Then this one 4 into 0, 0 will come. So 4 into minus 1, minus 4 is equal to 0. So x is equal to plus 4 by 2. So we will get 2. So it means platinum is in plus 2 oxidation state in both the complex. Using this information, let us find out that which one is the cationic complex and which one is the anionic complex ion. So look at this. Pt in which 3 4 times. So Platinum is in plus 2 oxidation state. Then NH3 4, it is a neutral ligand. So if you add, we will get plus 2. So this means this is the cationic complex ion. Then PtCl4, 2 plus and that chloride ion carries minus 1 charge. So 2 plus minus 4 is equal to minus 2. So it means this is that anionic complex. So using this information, we go to find out that IPEC name of the compound so let us find right first the first one is cationic complex platinum is the central ion and this is the anionic complex So this cationic complex carries plus 2 charge and the anionic complex carry minus 2 charge. So we can write the ligand we are writing first as per the rules. So there are 4 NH3 group is there. So tetra amine after that platinum. Next, we go to write that oxidation number in parenthesis. So, 2. Again, for the second complex, we go to write, there are 4 chloride group is present. So, tetra, chlorido, it is an anionic ligand. So, that it ends with O, chlorido. Then, after that, platinate. Platinate. It is an anionic complex so that central ion should end with ATE, platinate. Again, we are writing the oxidation state 2. So, tetraamine platinum 2, tetrachlorido platinate 2 is the IEPAC name for this compound. Thanks for watching.